Hi, my name is Janine Paulus. I'm a nurse at Chicago Aesthetic Surgery Institute, and I'll be talking today about Jackson Pratt drains. So after some surgeries, for example, uh, a tummy tuck or abdominoplasty, the surgeon will insert a drain to help prevent the collection of fluid in the abdomen after surgery. So what it's going to look like is this. Is, this is called the Jackson Pratt drain system. This is the bulb. Um, it consists of two parts, the, bulb, the collection bulb and then the drain tube itself. This part is uh, what's inside and it's stitched lightly to the skin. So this won't be seen. This is going to be inside uh, your tummy. One drain will be here, another drain will be here. So your job as the patient, and we'll teach this when you're here, um, is to take care of these drains and drain them every 12 hours and measure the content. And you'll be doing that by uh, emptying out this bulb. We're going to send you home with a little package that has some uh, measuring cups and some uh, alcohol swipes. So when you're ready to drain the bulb um, every 12 hours, you'll kink the tube like this and open up the bulb and you'll take your cup and just squeeze the contents into the cup and put it to the side. You'll then just let all the air out, make sure it's all out, and just replace the cap. It's actually quite simple. It's a, it's a little suction system. So if you happen to see some clots in the tube, there's an easy way to um, pull those clots out of the tubing as well. So we're going to give you these little alcohol pads. If you see a clot anywhere in the tube here, you will hold on to the, so this is going to be here, you will hold on to the tube close to your tummy and take this swab and just wipe it down and basically squeeze that clot or that uh, blood out from the tube and it's going to collect into the drain tube. Sometimes it's kind of stringy and you have to do that a few times. It's safe. Um, it's called milking the tube. You'll remove anything that's in the, any of the content that's in the drain tube. The important part for you as a patient is to hold on to this tightly so you don't pull the drain tube out of your tummy. So always hold on, always kink, milk the tube, and then when that's done, kink the tube this way, open it up, squeeze the content into the measuring cup, remove the air, and cap it back off. You're going to be connecting this to uh, an item of clothing, either your pajama or your robe, or if you have loose fitting pants, there's a little strap over here and you can put, it's just the air coming out. So uh, you'll take a safety pin and just connect this um, somewhere on your clothing. Make sure it's nice and loose. Make sure the tubing is not kinked anywhere. So this tubing should be hanging like this somewhere on your body. This will be inside. Make sure that when you sit down or when you're putting your clothes on that this doesn't inadvertently get kinked underneath your clothing because then it won't be able to suction any fluid out. This is a preventative measure to collect fluid that uh, to collect fluid and remove it from the body so it doesn't stay in there and form uh, a seroma or create problems. This stays in until you have about 10 cc's or less of fluid draining in 24 hours, which is usually about three to five days. There's uh, measuring numbers here. You'll see it's in teaspoons and over here it says cc's 5, 10, 15, all the way up to 30. After you've done that, we're going to give you a form like this with the date and the time 
and how much you've drained and you'll bring this form with you to your doctor's visits until the drains are removed. This way the doctor will be able to see how much is actually coming out. We'll also send you home with a set of instructions that will tell you exactly what to do. We'll also email this to you in case you lose this. And uh, that's it. Any questions, just call our office and we'll be happy to talk to you or talk you through the procedure once more. And again, this is for abdominal plasty, some breast procedures for facelifts, neck lifts. Um, it may not be quite this big, but uh, these are drains that are put in place after surgery. And we will train you to do this before your surgery. We'll do this at your pre-op visit. And that is care of the Jackson Pratt drains. Mm -hmm.